Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode one of A Sign of Affection. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, she's so pretty. I love the art style. Very watercolor ask. Oh, I love that transition. Because, like, for her, it's watercolor. And that's sweet. I think when I saw this opening last Saturday, wow, was that work, unfortunately. Because we all know I don't work on Saturdays. If I got to watch this the day of, oh, it would have been, like, next level-ish. But um, I got a very much, like, K-drama vibes with this. And I'm not mad at that, especially because it really does, opening-wise, look like a K-drama and stuff. And so it, you can see that more in anime now, that we're getting a lot more that do get those feels and such. And I ain't mad at it. Also, this cast is hot. Get a puppy! <laughs> Stop. Oh my god! Oh... Of course, yeah. You know who she sounds like? Um... Freaking Ichigo for my katsu. Huh? Uh oh no. Girl, you didn't fall for him right there and there. Psh. Fold. <laughs> details on that. I do secretly wish what they did is doing subtitles for her sign language. As someone who really does not know much but would love to learn it because I just went through
Oh my. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Teeny tiny. Oh, okay. Hmm? Which is sweet. Dude, his his hands are big. Oh, it all looks so good. <laughs> hmm. Pray, I'm about to say. I mean, besides, you kind of look good together. Yeah. He has wounds. He has wounds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Butter, yeah. Aww. 
I like how she put in his quest. That's so cute. Oh my god. Go in. You look fine. Go. <laughs> I mean, but the question is, which one is the boss? I'll find out when I'm getting there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, not the- <laughs> Oh yeah, the coffee alcohol. <laughs> Had that only like, what with buttery nipples? Oh. Yeah, I mean, he is good looking. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Book Hardy. Yeah, and, and you like that, though. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, okay. <laughs> and anything else we need to know about you? You know, what's your, um, got fetishes? What's your, you know, thing of poison? Yeah, what would you like to do? All that stuff. We need to know.
She's me. Literally me. <laughs> something with a guy who is so funny as hell. No. Next time, baby. Next time. Oh. <sighs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Uh oh. <gasps> oh. Girl, I cannot stop looking. Oh. <laughs> There's something about them their hands, I know. I know. <laughs>
Oh my! Ah! This a 10 out of 10, like, oof. I gotta recommend this show to my guy friend cause oh, he might really like this. Oh, he looks like what's his face from Given. Ah! Oh. Dr. Elise as, like, kind of my anime of the season, even though by, like, first episode. Oh, this would have been number one. Like, this. I mean, the last time that I watched something, especially, like, with sign language, you know-ish, was a silent voice. And that is a really, that movie is, like, near and dear to my fucking heart. I haven't watched it in, like, a long time, though. But... Even if I rewatch it one random day, I know I'm sure all those memories will come back. I, I dead ass, I know I will cry again, like I always do. But no, Yuki is really freaking adorable. I love how she, the way the world is around her and how she sees her world. Even though she doesn't have sound, the colors of her world and how she sees it and how very much it is very watercolor based esque that is like her sound and I think that's going to be really good to see in the rest of the series and such because like oh my god it's too effing pretty like way too pretty it's only the first freaking episode and the fact is that he wants to learn sign language in order to communicate with her goodbye goodbye Th that's a man a man Damn. I mean, once again, you know, my, my like, <laughs> best girls are getting, like, the best thing in their life, and then I'm over here single as fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, you know, try not to be jealous of an anime, but then in the end, you get jealous of an anime. But still, no, this is ridiculously cute and such. Um... They're both adorable together. I do love the fact is with the initiative of the what the supporting cast of this show, I'm really hoping that we do get episodes also focus on them and such because I do love the contrast where it's like, oh, not every single episode is about our main couple and stuff that we're going back and forth between, you know, couple B, couple C, couple D, all the way down to letter Z and such and that everyone all gets their own moments of screen times and such even though, um this show is mainly about our main couple and such. Which I'm not mad because, like, Horimiya did a really good job on that. And so I'm expecting, like, especially when you get into more animes that are romance-based, ask, and it has more than one couple in it, that they can do something like that where, in the end, they're all interacting with each other. But then everybody still gets a quote-unquote equal time to spend time with each other. That was the same thing for, like, Love is Hard for Otaku, and that was only four, not four, two couples. And they made that freaking work. So, yeah, I mean, here's hoping, like, for the rest of the show, like, it gets even better. Because, like, oof, big oof. But, yes, like, the main lead, the male, is fine. 
Like, I don't know who he voiced by. But you got a nice voice. Really nice voice. And that's my weakness. Like, voices. Male voices are like my weakness in a nutshell. We all know that and such. But if it's a deep behind voice, goodbye. Goodbye. Like, I can't. You know how, like, okay. Because I, I'm speaking to the girls right now. So, guys, bye-bye. Um, okay. So, you know, like, when, I, when you're laying with a guy and, you know, you wake up the next morning with him and shit. And he has, like, the... the deepest like morning voice and you're just like in that moment you're just like oh my god i need this man in that moment when he talked that's all i felt i was just like oh my god like how you doing like how you doing <laughs> oh god and the thirst is real but it's always been like that for me but yeah no like seriously this is perfection oh my god but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode one of a sign of affection if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all on saturday for episode two but until then i will see you guys all next time bye